Hi Scorpio, how are you? It's me, Lauren B. Welcome to your November monthly. Very happy to have you here. We're gonna use the tarot of the old path for your spread this week. No one's gotten this deck this week, this month. No one's gotten this deck yet for the monthlies. Um, uh, I'm picking up an energy for you this month that is like a, it's like go slow, don't freak yourself out. It feels like there's like a lot coming at you this month. Um, a lot of different things, a lot of people, a lot of situations, just like a lot of moving parts this month. And there really is a call to like, go slow. Originally, I was going to use the Rider Waite deck and I kept hearing riders on the storm, riders on the storm. And it's like about to start storming here. It's like getting cloudy. It's like perfect Scorpio weather for this reading. But there really is like a call to like, easy does it this month, Scorp, like, I feel like there's a lot that's coming in. A lot of it's for like you to process, forgive, release, reassess, like whatever whatever it may be. But um, there's almost a sense that the energy coming in, it's almost like overwhelming that you just want to like deal with it and get it away. Deal with it and get it away. That there, you could like miss some parts in that. So to really like go slow and like I had the the three of cups in reverse come out, um, you know, which is like celebrating and like just wanting to like sit almost in like that like, happy joyous energy it's also like a like a drinking and like a partying it's like almost like a like a coping mechanism kind of energy but then it has like the knight of pentacles out after that which is a little bit like arms crossed and like the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck so even though like your instincts maybe just like just get it out of the way so i can go enjoy myself you might i mean it is your birthday season so i get it right but there's a sense to kind of be like hold tough hang tight like go about things like very um methodically really almost like moseying kind of like mosey through it like because you might preemptively make a decision about something or someone and then kind of realize after the fact that like you you might have done something differently in that because like the nine of <laughs> the nine of cups is underneath that which is wish fulfillment so you you let's just let's just take it easy let's just take it easy in november score let's let's pray yes very good father god thank you for bringing me here with my scorpios today I ask that you bless these messages, that you cover these cards, that you allow me to be clear and wise when I speak. I ask that we bring forth wisdom and guidance for Scorpio in their highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment for the month of November. We praise you and we thank you always in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen, Scorp. Amen. Amen means I agree. We should all agree on Jesus. I just heard I'm gonna need him. That's what I just heard in my head. Oh, Scorp, you're fine. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Let's just see. I just heard they're all coming at me at once. They're all coming at me at once. Oh, my poor babies. My, um, look, nine, nine of cups really wants to come out. All right, let's talk about your wish fulfillment. Uh, all right, let's take it. Let's take it. Let's, let's, let's roll with the punches. Let's roll with the punches, Scorp. Um, in my Vedic chart, I, uh, my moon is in Scorpio in my Western, my tropic chart, my moon is in Sagittarius, but in my Vedic chart, which I feel as though I grow more, I don't know, feel I don't know why I'm feeling the need to tell you this some, some, for someone. Um, but in my Vedic chart, which I feel like I grow more into my Vedic chart. So maybe some of you might want to look at your Vedic chart. Um, cause I feel as though as I age, I grow more into that. My moon is in Scorpio. So I really, I really resonate like deeply deeply and profoundly with scorpion energy so november we're talking about your nine of cups we're talking about your wish fulfillment this is like my fat and happy card right this is like milk and honey right it's like super contented it's like in those old victorian paintings where they painted the women like really like voluptuous right because it was a sign of um like status and comfort and security he's got this like this chicken this chicken drumstick in his hand he's got all these cups right they're all full of milk he's got these apples he's got fruits right fruits of his labor he's got like everything he needs and then this knight of pentacles is coming out again with this two of cups with the two of cups coming out next so you have two cups energy so again it's about like going slow because i think it might take you longer this month to process your emotions and perhaps you are anticipating and that's part of the reason probably why god wants you to like take it a little bit easy like a step at a time because it, i'm also pulling up like a little bit of a stubborn energy with this knight of pentacles too with his arms crossed like that it's like again it's a slow moving thing 
but it also feels like a little bit stubborn up against this two of cups energy which is this like divine union and look this is like the beginning and this is like where they end up both in like wish fulfillment like fat and happy and she's like feeding them more wine even she's kind of chubby now right too because she's getting all, all her milk and honey as well so again there there is this energy that perhaps you might um do like a little baby with the bath water kind of thing in november um that you might you you might want to to look at a little bit a little bit more closely let's see let's see what's going on so stubborn and you know his his haircut it's like a bowl cut too like bowls and then cups it's almost like it's so weird it's how it's funny how it's coming through it's almost like you're taking like your ace of cups and you're like putting it on your head right like i'm not giving it to anyone i'm just gonna put it on my head it's so funny it's so funny how that's coming through he's gonna come out all right so we have the four of swords in reverse again it's this idea of like because the four of swords it's like it's a resting it's a recuperation energy it's like you want to come out of that again it's like just deal with it and get it away just deal with it and get it away it's almost like an assembly line kind of energy like very like methodical very like sort of a like calculated very calculated but then you have this knight of swords in reverse and then you have a fault by the eight of swords which again like knights bring messages but the knight of swords also that brings like truth clarity like things that make sense that again it's like you're coming out of the woodwork it's like you're trying to just like i'm here i'm coming out boo but it's like this is like i want the world to know and there's like no part of that you're not letting the world know it's like you're coming out of like hibernation without being any clearer about what you want necessarily what direction you're gonna go in like anything having to do with that so that's something to look at again because it's like you you could you could get out and start running a race but it's like you have to kind of have an idea of, of where the finish line is or what you want to be at the finish line right because then i think like i said there's a tendency for you to do this without fully um assessing all of the moving parts and then if you do that you're going to end up more in like the eight of swords which is kind of all turned all, all tied up um but then your back is turned to everything else but you know normally this card kind of comes through as you turning your back on everything else but this is actually coming through a little bit more today like ev like everyone turned their back on you and now it's like almost like you feel like you don't have a lot left but that could come from the energy of preemptively like uh uh, uh separating kicking out there's like a kicking out energy people places and things around you um that perhaps you might like want around later or they might be an asset to you somehow like in the future that you might not be anticipating two of pentacles so there's a need again like there's a need to balance here and then again it's like this tight rope like it's a thin line there's a thin line probably between love and hate for you scorp the guide oh the guide this is a card of temperance again balance and then temperance coming in at the same time that's like needing to kind of balance your energies like sort of in the physical in the natural so that also could be like between um because we did see that three of cups come out before in the pre-shuffle um about balancing your like what you're eating like what you're drinking making sure you're getting enough like rest i know you want to come out of this four of swords resting recuperation energy but you might not realize like how much energy you're taking on like again not realizing with all this cups energy that you're like processing a lot more emotionally like i know scorpios do that sometimes it's like there's a lot happening emotionally i do it personally too i'll like click over into my analytical mind so that way it's like my emotional body kind of gets a break because it could be overwhelming so i'll click into the very like cerebral part of my spirit um but i don't think you're realizing how much energy you're taking on in november so i think that's why it's like really an encouragement to kind of rest more like you might not think you need that like more rest more time to think but i think you really do because again temperance is coming out to confirm that energy because again look even in this card it's like a it's like a wounded feminine and your feminine energy is which in which you receive i don't think you realize how much energy you're actually receiving on top of guidance on top of instructions uh, it's just it's just a lot like i said there's a lot coming at you at once you need you really need more time in november to kind of think about it Mm, mm-hmm 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 mm oh okay 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 oh lord okay 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 all right uh so much <laughs> so many cards so many cards so the fool came out next right but it came out on its side and when for me as a reader when cards come out on their side that indicates a lot of free will decision right so the fool indicates like leaps of faith right in this card though in this particular deck this card comes out more as less of a faith energy and more of a foolish sort of energy so again 
you need more time this month to rest your physical body because you need more it's almost like you need the physical energy in which to work through all of these emotional and spiritual aspects that you're going through which is why you have a natural and then a spiritual balancing agent here confirming each other um because if you don't do that again you might like throw a baby out with a bathwater that perhaps you may need in the future that could lead you to two of cups and then thereby your nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment, fat and happy later on. And so you don't want to make a foolish decision. Put the cart before the horse, right? Because in doing so, again, free will, you don't have to take this advice. You could take it and leave it and do what you want, but it, it could potentially throw you into the five of cups energy, right? Which is spilt milk, feeling a little disappointed, a little bit like regretful, remorseful. And then at the same time, also have the ability being stuck in that energy for things to then sneak up on you right because sometimes when we get disappointed or or we were having a little heart issue or we're mad at ourselves or mad at other people that's sort of like that little trickster energy the enemy the devil the bad juju whatever you want to call it it likes to hit you while you're already down right it's you know it's, the devil's not going to be the guy to pick grab your hand and pick you up when you're feeling low that's jesus right that's a trickster energy they want to come over here and then kick you while you're already down so we really want to try and avoid that by, by being very discerning and taking our time and being gentle with ourselves emotionally and also being gentle with ourselves physically. You might be like tired. You might be extra tired this month and you don't really know why. And you might just be chalking it up to, oh, I'm busy with work. You know, my birthday, I hit it too hard. Like, and then just keep like rolling with it, rolling with it, rolling with it. And not realizing that part of the reason you're tired is because like I said, you are taking on a lot of energy. You are, there's a lot coming at you, you are dealing with a lot of different things. And, and your body and your spirit, God's really trying to get you to recuperate more of that. Now, you have the Eight of Wands coming in next. So this is a card of incoming communication, right? Um, in this card, the wands are actually broomsticks. And broomsticks are very indicative of like cleaning things out, like cleaning the clutter, like um, cobwebs in the corner sort of energy, right? So I think part of this communication is coming from your angels. It's coming from God telling you like, hey, there's some like frog spirit, vulture spirit, work we need to do here about cleaning out your emotional clutter that way you can actually get clear about what you really want because right now you're sitting in a little bit of a stubborn energy whether it's against another person or whether it's against the idea that you can actually have the two of cups and the nine of cauldrons right whether you can have divinely guided love successful healthy relationships and dynamics as well as wish fulfillment in your life right um and that one with the queen of wands being in reverse this is a very confident card right so one again with this little stubbornness it is a little hot-headedness like god might be trying to communicate with you with this eight of rods that hey like maybe you're being a little stubborn like maybe you're being a little hot-headed and maybe that's coming from uh, a lack of self-confidence perhaps because of situations that happened in the past which have you a little bit on guard right now but again knight of swords in reverse you need to find more clarity in this you, it's almost like you don't really know what you're talking about yet because you haven't explored this aspect you haven't worked through these things which is why they want you to do this balancing and it comes up to the ace of cups right a new emotional beginning when we come to the two of cups each of these people get their own ace of cups and then they decide, they make that choice to exchange it. And together, the combination of them creates the three of cups, which is celebration, rejoicing, joy, right? So, what is it? Six. And then how do you get to the nine of cups? From one, they each get one. Let's walk it out. Each one of these people, they get their own ace of cups. Remember, I said in the beginning, yours, it's like you're kind of turning it over. Like, you don't want to play. Like, no, you can't come play with me. And you're just kind of putting it on your head like this little bowl cup, right? Which is almost like preventing, I feel like, these downloads into your crown chakra. These instructions from God, this encouragement, this guidance, which will allow you to turn your knight of swords upright, meaning have clarity after balancing these energies. But each of these people get their own ace of cups. Together, they equal the three of cups rejoicing kinship right happiness all you know celebration all of this stuff and then in order to get to the nine of cups which is wish fulfillment what do you need you need that extra six you need the six of cups which is building one that kind of soulmate recognition of like a soulmate right a light alignment soul alignment within each other that that sort of compatibility but also six is number of reciprocation that equal energy exchange right you give a little i give a little you take a step i take a step so that is how you get there you each get your own cup but you have to acknowledge 
that you that you have a cup you have to be willing to put the energy into giving it to another person so they can join and then you can celebrate and then through consistent effort right then you can build up to that wish fulfillment but there's a level of your of your confidence that's being affected i think from past situations that you might not be realizing which is making you a little closed off making you feel a little hot-headed right um which again i think is something that's draining your energy and part we have this is this king of cups energy which is one getting in control of your emotions but also it's about um not being afraid to offer your cup up right not being afraid to a be able to fill it yourself from the inside out but then also not be afraid to extend it outwards this is also a card of emotional availability and emotional vulnerability as well and cloaked in all of this blue that talks about honesty because it's something that you honestly want and it's almost like again you're trying to go too cerebrally in your mind too practically Forgetting that you are a water sign. My ears are popping. You might be having some ascension symptoms. But um, being a little bit too practical, right? Almost like I don't have time for love. It's like a little bit like that. Um, but that's actually not the truth. That's not the truth. Because meanwhile, despite being all practical, over here you are cloaked in green, which is a loving energy. I'm wearing green. I'm wearing green. But look, I'm wearing camouflage. I always end up wearing a camouflage shirt for years. It's like trying to hide the fact that like, you really do want love like you really do want harmony the moon is in libra right now which i think is interesting too which talks about really trying to have balance and justice and and beauty and harmony and and uh uh synchronicity right in in our emotional bodies and and have that reflected outward into our relationships as well so these are things to think about and yeah because see you have the you have the wheel of fortune in reverse followed up by the five of swords so it's like part of the reason that perhaps you you aren't having the the kind of um favor and fortune and like that forward momentum right the ease the ease of the wheel that you want is part of it is because you're almost like in a battle of the minds five of swords is my like battle of the minds card right there's something in that again it's uh just wanting to and again it's also a little bit of a card of like going going back in to like fight the good fight right because again it's that energy it's that uh, uh assembly line of like you're, it's almost like that swipe left, swipe right. No, I don't like you. Get out of here. No, I don't want to deal with you. Get out of here. No, out, 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 out. Everybody out. Everybody out. It's like clearing the house out, 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 out after a party, right? But then it's like you're sitting here, which could be foolish because perhaps three of cups is normally oftentimes like a group of people as well. Um, that then you're sitting there almost like with all these empty solo cups or these half drank solo cups, just almost like throwing them off the table, right? Okay. See this flip out? page of cauldrons right that in order to have these things you also have to one pages are student energies you have to take on a new mindset in november right that that you can because even though he's holding his cup he is guarding it a little bit that you know there there is a a a, a uh, an aspect of kind of being able to to ascertain whether or not someone is like good for you compatible to you if it's a good match if if you know their their character their integrity if their ethics and morals sort of match up to yours too but it's also like you'll you'll never really know unless you actually like get out there like life is also to be lived in an experience and and if god is so good to us that he can come in and he can heal us and comfort us and kind of cradle us when we do get disappointed when we do get our heart hurt sometimes then that means that at the end of the day like if we have the ability to heal then we also have to be brave enough to like go out there and put ourselves on the line because if we're not vulnerable we'll never really know and that will bring you into the six of swords which is actually bringing you into calmer waters when you take on this new mindset that you actually can offer your ace of cups potentially to someone else maybe someone else that you're trying to like throw out of a window right now but in that in doing that again that energy exchange you get that extra six which brings you up to the nine which is wish fulfillment but it also is a getting in control of your emotions but you can't get in control of your emotions unless you understand them which again is why i said they're trying to bring in spiritual balancing for you on top of balancing in your natural physical body which is why i think they do want you to rest a little bit more and not come out of the four of swords quite yet thank you holy spirit strength in reverse so again it's like being a little prideful because i'm literally hearing like no i don't i don't need to rest anymore like i don't need to rest anymore but look you're throwing yourself into the nine of swords look it's like part of it's like the strength and it literally it feels like energy like i don't have the time for this like i don't have the energy for this like i don't have i don't have the patience that's what it feels like too i don't have the patience meanwhile temperance is trying to come in and help give you more patience but like i don't have the temper the, the the patience to deal with this right now but in doing that you're just locking yourself up in more anxiety in more stress in more cluttered thoughts this is very cluttered thoughts it's this is also like um 
Nine of Swords is also like a bad dream card. Again, it's like I'm not sleeping well. It's like I'm waking up a lot in the middle of the night too. Like, you know, it's not just like bad dreams. You could be having bad dreams, but you could also be like waking up every couple hours at night, not getting in that like full REM cycle, which actually like rejuvenate and heal your body. Again, it's like this confirmation after confirmation after confirmation. And then look underneath it, you have the lover's card. So let's reassess. We have the Ace of Cups. We have, we have the Two of Cups, Divine Lovers. We have wish fulfillment, new emotional opportunity, divinely guided love, wish fulfillment, and the lovers, which is also a card of Gemini. It's a card of choice. It's a card. I just had, I just had a moment with my guides. It's also a card of choice, making the choice that this is possible for you and you can do it, but you have to be able to open yourself up emotionally and uh, to be available in which to receive it because it is what God actually wants to give to you. But I think because like I said, you have so much coming at you. It's just overwhelming you in November and it's frustrating you so you're just trying to get everything off your board so you can like think clearly but the easiest way for you to think clearly to not make a foolish decision is to take a step back like I said like easy does it so what did I say in the beginning I said um just like go slow like just go slow or you're gonna freak yourself out you're gonna be like it's too much and then you're gonna throw everything out but there may be some of these things some of it probably has to get purged out and go and be separated from absolutely but some of it might be things that you might want to keep things that might stick and, and you might want to have later on so it's something to sort of be mindful of at the same time yeah the wise one in reverse it's like again and it's coming out right underneath this fool it's like don't be don't be foolish like you know it doesn't mean that you have to take people back that you don't want to take back but also like make sure that your body is rested and healed up and that your spirit is centered right there's no shame in your overwhelmed game. There's a lot coming at you. I totally understand. But that's why they really want you to take a step back and be gentle with yourself. So that way, when you make these decisions, you're doing it um, under the proper guidance and cover of God. But also because you'll you'll know exactly what you're doing. And, and you'll be able to, to sit in that decision and rest on it and then not go back later in the five of cups and be like, damn, like maybe I shouldn't have did that. Like, damn, maybe I shouldn't have said that. That way you're also moving forward with confidence and clarity as well. Yeah, page of swords. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio, for November. So a lot going on, but you're going to be fine. My Scorpios are always fine. I love you so much. I hope that this helped you and I hope that it provided some good guidance for you. I really do. If nothing else, I hope you received it with love and encouragement because I wish nothing more than to just love you and encourage you. Thank you so much for being here and for watching and taking the extra time and making me an added investment in me so I can have my nine of cups. You know, I really do love you guys and I appreciate you so much. So. Till I see you next time, Scorpio. Stay prayed up. Stay blessed. Go relax. Go take a nap. Go take a nap. I love you. Goodbye.